I drove all the way to Rhode Island to buy a comic book collection. We're gonna go through every single slab in the collection and a little bit of extra stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna go through all the slabs from this collection. Uh, and a big shout out to the person who sold me the collection. This is from Mike's Auction House from Tiverton, Rhode Island. Michael's Auction House, big shout out, great dude. Second time I bought stuff off of him. And the second time I got chocolate chip cookies from his wife, homemade. They were delicious as always, but man, this was a trip. Three and a half hours one way, plus I sat in a ton of traffic each way. This was uh, this was an eight hour trip, four hours there, four hours back. Let me know if you think it was worth it. We're gonna go through all the slabs. We're gonna talk price. There was a bunch of short and long boxes as well of raw stuff with um, a lot of miscellaneous stuff in there. Nothing like earth shattering, but good stuff for whatnot, great stuff for eBay. Stuff people want in their collection, but uh, nobody's pushing anyone out of the way to get it. So decent stuff. I wish I had a good example to give you, but I just don't off the top of my head. Um, very little bit of silver, little bit of bronze ASM. Um, just solid, solid stuff. No wall books, but solid stuff. All the wall books were slabbed, which we are going to get into it. And again, we are going to talk price at the end of the video, and I'm going to need your help. Let me, well, let me know if you think I did a good job or not with this collection with the price. Um, Enough of me rambling. Oh, geez. Yeah, one more thing, guys. Uh, make sure you give me a follow on eBay. King Con is around the corner, and we are going to be, myself, Erod, and Pressable Defects are going to be your connection to the show. If you can't make it to King Con, which is in Northern Jersey, a one day show, we're going to be having plenty of stuff for you guys to bid on on eBay Live all weekend. Well, I say weekend, Friday night and Saturday. It's only a one day show. I'll be live with artist Ryan Brown sat, uh, Friday evening to kind of kick off the entire weekend, the entire Saturday, uh, and we're going to be doing sketches and remarks, and I'll give you an opportunity to get that stuff sent off to CGC so you can get that yellow label. Same thing is happening all day Saturday as well with all different artists that are going to be at the show. So with that, give me a follow on eBay Live, save me as a seller. That way you get notified when we do go live. All right, that's it. Let's get into the books. That's why you're here, right? Let's check out the slabs and tell me what you think. All right, four boxes. What treasures are we going to find in here? Let's start with the raw stuff. You have the world's finest. World's finest, 153. This is where the Batman slapping Robin meme is in this book. ASM 300 newsstands. Uh, nice grade on here. You're probably in like an 8.0 range. Newsstand though is nice. Secret Wars 8, another newsstand copy. It needs a press. Other than that, it looks really good. Probably in the 9294 range. Werewolf by Night number one. Yeah, like in the 665. Silver Surfer, or Fantastic 455, classic Silver Surfer cover. And then you have the first Rama Tut here, FF19. I don't know what's going on with this book nowadays. With everything going on with Jonathan Majors. He's been, he got in trouble. All right, all slabs, four boxes. Let's see what we can come across. First up, CBCS number 42. This is a verified signature of Jim Shooter. Uh, this is the first Boba Fett cover, kind of, sort of. Obi-Wan number one, EM Gist signature. Star Wars 68. This is the first, I believe this is the first Mandalorians in a newsstand, 7-0, signed by Jim Shooter. First Kang in a 4-0. Sergeant Fury's Howling Commandos number one. This is the first appearance of Nick Fury in a 1-5. Cool book. That's something we'll probably auction off on eBay, on an eBay live stream. Uh, Marvel Spotlight number six, second appearance of Ghost Rider. I can take this out. It's getting all jumbly up here, in here. Wolverine number two. This is the David Finch variant. G.I. Joe number one, newsstand. That is in an 8.5. Man Thing number 160. It's also the second appearance of Howard Duck. Daredevil number one in a CGC 3.5. This I believe this book has not have not it's not been pressed. So I'm actually gonna look up the graders' notes on this and see what we can do if it's worth cracking. Spidey 2099 number 198. Man, there's a lot of nice bags at the bottom here. FF 45, first appearance of Inhumans. Marvel Preview 95, people say that's like the first miles, don't believe them. ASM 300, 7.5, newsstand. J. 
Journey into Mystery 84, second appearance of Thor, first appearance of Jane Foster. Man, I feel like we started with the best box. Marvel premiere number 47, Scott Lang becomes Ant-Man in a 9-4 white pager. Wolverine number one, newsstand 9-2. ASM 361, first Carnage 9-6. First High Evolutionary in a 4.5. First Morbius in a 6.5. I feel like this was the good one. First Silver Age Penguin in a 3-0. This is the 9-11 issue. ASM 36. Shazam number one, 9-6. First Shazam since the Golden Age, I believe. First Nightwing, 9-2. First Rocket in Comics, 7-0. That was a really nice box. Let's slide over to the second one. All right, here comes the second box. If you listen closely... You could hear my chickens screaming their heads off, and it's like 5.45 in the morning right now. Uh, you have the first Spider-Man 2099 in an 8.5, Spider-Man number 13 in a 9.6. This is the homage to Spider-Man number 1, which is right here, the silver in a 9.0. We have a silver in a 9.6. We have the green in a 9.0. First Cletus Cassidy, who becomes Carnage in a 9.6. ASM 362 in a 9.6. Web of Spider-Man number one, nine four. Spider-Man Adventures number ten, newsstand in a nine two. Symbiote Spider-Man, Marvel Tales number one nine six. Nothing too crazy here. In Huck Lee variant. Spider-Man twenty ninety nine nine four. Spider-Man twenty ninety nine nine six. Spider-Man twenty ninety nine nine four. Let me put the nine fours next to each other. Here's another nine four. What are we gonna do with these things? 90 for Spidey 2099. Yes, there's a difference. This is a Spider Man box. Spider Man 1396. Spider Man Adventures number 8 in a 94. Free Comic Book Day Ultimate Spider Man number 1 in a 94. Here's that Morbius second printing from 1992 in a 96. And another Cletus Cassidy in a 94. Yeah, box 1 is just the dominant box here. Let's just slide over. Let's move the raw stuff over. All right. Edge of Spider-Verse number one in a 9-2. ASM 375 in a 9-2. ASM one, uh, no, I'm sorry. Spider-Man 1, 9-6. Sp uh, ASM 400, that is the death of Aunt May in an 8.5. Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man 100, 9-2. Silver Spidey, 9-4. Silver Spidey 9-2. I gotta organize this. ASM 400 and a 9-2. Death of Aunt May again. Another one, but this is a 9-8. That's a lot nicer. That has the die cut cover. Same thing in a 9-6. Let's slide that over here. How many Spider-Man number ones are we gonna get? This one's a 9-8 though. That's, that's nice. First Cletus Cassidy, newsstand 9-2. ASM 301. This is the reprint, I believe, from the toy. Yeah, this is from the toy in a 9-6. Another Spider-Man number one. This is a newsstand copy in a 9.6. Another silver in a 9.6. Uh, this is Spider-Man 26 in a 9.8. It's a hologram cover. Classic 90s. Here's another one. Silver 9.4. Spidey number one. This is from 2016 in a 9.8. Miles Morales Spider-Man number 11. This is the variant. Uh, the Andalfo in a 9.8. The Mary Jane variant. This is Amazing Spider-Man. Parallel Lives, number one, 9-8. ASM, 129, in a 5-0. That is the first Punisher. And World's Finest, number 153, in a 5-0. Again, this is the Batman slapping Robin panel that turned into a meme. We have one more, one more box here. Let's see what we could do. Oh, it's another Spider-Man number one. This is silver in a 9-4. Blackhawk. This is just... just I gotta look into that book. Avengers 11 in a 6-0. Not bad grade. Strange Tales 111. This is the second appearance of Doctor Strange. First appearance of Baron Mordo. Origin, first appearance of Asbestos Man. Strange Tales 114 in a 5-5. It's a nice grade. Subby number one. Hulk 182 in an 8 0. First, second Wolverine cameo, right? Hulk 180 in a 5 0. 
first appearance of Wolverine in cameo, depending on who you ask, but the market says it's a cameo. ASM 298, first Todd McFarlane on Spidey. Here's 299, Venom cameo. ASM 375, 98, first Ann Wang. Fantastic Four 92 and an 80. ASM 134, that's the first Tarantula and a 65. FF 54, first appearance of the Evil Eye. Just nice silver FF. Secret Avengers number 23, 96. X Men 376 and a 98. Ooh, All Star Squadron number 47. This is like the first McFarlane cover, I think, on DC. ASM 692, first appearance of Alpha. That's an 85. That's not uh, crazy. Spider Man Maximum Clonage 80, no big deal there. ASM 603 variant. This is a 98 70th anniversary variant cover. This is Spider Man Lost Years number one. This is Amazing Spider Man 414, first appearance of Delia Rose. This is a 9.8. We're almost on. ASM. 19, that's a 9.6. Amazing Spider Man 434, that's a 9.8. ASM Volume 2, number 198. ASM 682.96, uh, 9.8, I'm sorry. And last but not least, ooh, some J. Scott Campbell, the Heine one. This is the Heine cover, number 30, and a 9.8. All right, so that's it. You know, there were some major books in there. Some major books. I love that Daredevil one. That 3.5 was not cleaned and pressed. I checked the grader's notes. There's possibly room to bump it to a four. I don't think I'm going to take that risk only because it's con season. Might as well just move it. Uh, but there might be room for a bump for someone. And, and to go from a 3.5 to a 4.0, it's a lot of money. So uh, what did I spend on this collection? You saw... About 80% of it, the last little bit again, was all the raw stuff, some short boxes, some long boxes, miscellaneous stuff, some nice runs, some mini series. Again, nothing earth shattering, nothing going up on a wall, but still nice box stock, great stuff for whatnot, great stuff for eBay Live. All right, what did I pay? I'll give you the five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. This collection cost me $9,000. So for $9,000, I got all the slabs you saw, the raw stuff, which you didn't really see, and I apologize for, and uh, a bag of cookies. So I think I did pretty well. Let me know in the comments down below how you think I did. Uh, and I know it's a little tough because you're not able to see the raw stuff, and I apologize, but if I had done that, this might have been a longer video. And last week, I did not put a single video out because I was sick. So I'm like, let me just bang this one out, get it out to you, get you the most important information, and then move on. Now, a lot of the stuff that you saw, too, uh, will be at KingCon. So hopefully I see you guys there. It's less than a month away. I'm pretty pumped. I think about three weeks from the time of this recording. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.